Hey, it's uh, Billy here, and I'm sitting here waiting for a corporate training session to start. And I wanted to share a little bit about an important topic, uh, being that it's mid-December. Uh, most people wait until the new year, and they start thinking about their goals and things they want to achieve. This is a big topic, but I'm going to keep this simple and just share something that you've probably heard but it's a great reminder for us all, and that's how to set goals. And I want you to start thinking about it. And if you have any questions, I would love to work through it with you. Uh, you've heard the term uh, or the acronym for SMART goals. Uh, that means that they are to be specific. That means we wanna be able to know if we're there or not. If we say that we wanna lose weight, that's not specific. Losing 30 pounds, is specific. The second uh, is M, it needs to be measurable. So we, we want to know where we are in relation to that goal. If it's a 30 pound weight loss goal, then 15 pounds means we're halfway there. So there you go. Uh, then you, you have the A, which stands for action. So it has to be something that is tied to your behavior. You can take action to reach that goal. It's not dependent on somebody else. So that's what the A stands for. The R is that it's realistic. I, I want you to stretch yourself. I want it to be something that excites you and inspires you, but it has to be realistic. You're probably not gonna lose 30 pounds in the next two weeks. It needs to be realistic. And then finally, there has to be the T, which is time attached to it. So that means that there is a the goal is in relation to time, so you wanna reach the goal by a certain point in time. You can really draw a line and say, by October 1st, 2020, this is where I'll be. Uh, that's it, smart goal, uh, start thinking about that. We'd love to hear your thoughts, what you're looking to work at. Uh, there's a little bit more to it, but I'm gonna keep this simple so uh, we don't get overwhelmed.